There is so much we can say about Mum Yvonne Chaka Chaka, a musical legend who enriches us not only with her lyrics and groove, but she opens up her heart and helps people across Africa to build their lives for the better. Well, she opened up her home to us. We took our cameras and got to speak to the Princess of Africa. Yvonne Chaka Chaka, it's one of the most recognizable names in Mzanzi. Well, in Africa for that matter. And it gives our South Africans such a sense of pride to know that this remarkable woman is one of our own. With a music career spanning more than three decades and having received a Lifetime Achievement Award at the Samas and the South African Traditional Music Awards, she's proved herself to be a force to be reckoned with in the world of the arts. But she's also an inspirational woman with a powerful global influence as a humanitarian. And when she flashes that trademark smile of hers, it's easy to see why she's called the Princess of Africa. When did you first get your big break? My very first break was in 1985. I just finished matric. The SABC were looking for girls between the ages of 19 and 25 to come and do some auditions. It was a long queue. All you could see were these great men with gray shoes and strong white men just walking, wandered, murdered, <laughs> you know. A guy called Louis came to the SABC bringing those round, big tapes. So he said, I brought these here to the SABC. As a matter of fact, um, my boss is looking for uh, a female to, to come and record. So he says, you know what, I want to audition you. So I'm looking at this white man with a white <laughs> you know. So I go to the boardroom, the song is playing. Do, 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 do. He says, do you love the song? I'm like, yeah, you know. <laughs> he says, gosh, you're cheeky. I'm like, I know, you know. <laughs> So he says, can you sing? When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Phil Holly said, I found my girl. That's how he found me. Yvonne Chaka Chaka has since performed with people like Bono, who are you friends with? You got his number on your telephone. Annie Lennox, Beyonce even. What's it like performing with these international artists? I'm never starstruck. Mm. So I look at them like human beings. I look at them and say, these are just human beings like you and me. I mean, I've met people like Miriam Makeba, yes. Hugh Masekela. Those for me are my real stars because they are my people. Correct, I can yeah. feel them, I can touch them. They're not surrounded by bodyguards and things like that. What's Yvonne like as a mom? I want to think I'm a very good mother. I've got four sons um, and, and a daughter. I really love my children. Tomorrow, if my son says to me, I'm bringing a white girl, that's OK. That's, that's what he wants, and that's what makes him happy. If he says, I want to bring an Indian girl or an albino, or I just have to be happy for that. Exactly. And that's it. And if he says, I'm bringing Peter home, I have to respect <laughs> that and, and say, that's OK. Welcome, my son, Temper. You are free. Hey, you okay. are free! 27 caged in, but never quitting. Besides nurturing her international singing career and raising and taking care of her family, she's a goodwill ambassador for the United Nations Children's Fund and advises several company boards on education. She's also very vocal about the effects of global warming and malaria in Africa. Who are your heroes or icons when you were growing up? Mary Makeba, you know, the late Mary Makeba. She was like a mother to me. Every time I'd gone performing, she'd come home and cook for my husband and my children. Come on. Yeah, she was just amazing. When I met Miriam, I met her for the first time in New York in 1987. She was cooking, you know, and she was like, I hear you and Brenda Fassi are doing it in South Africa. <laughs> Some of us will never go back to South Africa, so do it, my child. And we became friends since then. You know, his 60th birthday was held here at my house. We had Oliver Tambo coming, we had Madiba coming, we had so many people coming here. Madiba called twice, and Mfumu, because he's the young one, he rushes for the phone, hello, hello. He say, can I speak to your mother? <laughs> the second time when Madiba called, he, Mfumu says, why are you always calling mommy? Are you mommy's boyfriend? Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't hear my son say that, but then Madiba on the other side, I pick up the phone and <laughs> he was laughing. He said, who answered the phone? I said, it's my son. He said, ha ha ha, 
He is asking me such funny question, <laughs> you know, because I called the last time. He likes a phone. Like, the young man likes a phone, eh? And so it was like very funny. And he came here, and I must say, the man is selfless. He just came to thank us, to say, you know, we we know that you did your bit when we were in jail. You did your did bit to beat the system with, and you know, I I really cried. I had tears in my eyes because. Who am I to be visited by a great man of the world? What kind of legacy do you want to leave behind? As a South African, I always say to myself, I fought the injustices of apartheid, but now there's the injustices of health, injustices of education. Things are not equal until we can all say we are equal and, uh, and the world is leveled for everybody. I'll still continue fighting until I go to my grave.